follow-up on my video I made yesterday of the yellow garden spider. I'm looking at him with a side view right here with a Sony Handycam. Now let's move the camera around and get a better look at him. He's under my back deck. There's what's left of a bag of potting soil that I threw on the ground there. Never used it. And a couple old tires off my boat that I've never moved. But this spider is worthy of another look. Sometimes I come out the door at night uh, to be on the front porch and a spider spun a web and you walk into that spider web and feel a creepy spider web feeling all over you. That's not a good feeling at all. And those are just little spiders. This scoundrel here I don't have a tape measure on him, but I'd say from the length of his front legs to the back of his back legs, he's three and a half inches. His body mass is probably about an inch and a quarter by three quarters. He's quite a, quite a construction engineer with the web. So let's take an even closer look. Right now my camera is about a foot and a half away from him. get a little different look at him. I don't know if these spiders will bite you or not, but I've got a hunch he'd sure try. Let's see if we can agitate him a little bit. With a broom handle on my part, a scrub brush handle. He was sleeping and he's awake now. Well, his little web bounces like a trampoline. Alright, let's get a look at him from the underside. One thing for sure, we're getting a great look at him. Question viewers, do I kill him, thereby eliminating any hazard from ever getting bit by him, or do I let him live, thereby letting him rid me of some unwanted insects in the area? Are you sleeping, Brother John? Oh boy, his web is really stiff.
He sure is guarding his web. Anyway, I thought you might like a better look at the big yellow spider, garden spider, so I'm providing it to you. Thank you.